Dude, 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 Taylor just uploaded the lightning rod parody, the one that we're in. Dude, seriously? That's awesome, let's watch it. Alright. Huh? We're sorry to report that the parody will not be released on time. We take great pride in the parodies we make, and as you know, we strive to meet all our deadlines, so we are equally as disappointed that it will not be released on time. However, safety is our top priority, so at the moment we are unable to speculate when the parody will be released to the public. Dude! The, the parody that we're in, it, it's finally up! Oh good, I've waited long enough. Let's watch it. From the manufacturer that you're currently obsessed with comes quite possible. Wait, what? Uh, we're sorry, but due to unforeseen circumstances, we're going to have to close this parody until further notice? Well, maybe if we just wait, it'll be up in an hour. I don't know, this stupid thing's always breaking. You know what? That's what he gets for making the first ever parody of its kind. You're not gonna believe this. All my friends have seen the parody except for me, and they all say it's the best one ever. Well, luckily it's beta testing and they gave me this card, so I can finally watch this thing. From the manufacturer that you're currently obsessed with comes quite possibly the most obsessed you'll ever get for a roller coaster. And that's saying something. So basically, if Hamilton was a roller coaster, this would be it. Lightning Rod. You loved how RMC took the amusement industry by storm by creating new, innovative rides without any issues. Until now. Gaze upon the first ever launched wooden roller coaster, easily looking to be one of the world's greatest thrill rides, attracting coaster nerds from all across the country. But in the end, just about all of them walk away disappointed. Yeah, you know it's bad when a coaster has a worse track record than my GPA. And I want to know right now, who is the person responsible? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I had nothing to do with it. I'm not responsible for everything. Now go away. Sorry, force a habit. Yeah, yeah. But I guess it is all new technology, so that'd probably explain it. But did you all honestly expect it to be ready for opening day? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, and look how far that got you. Sucks to suck. Of course it wasn't going to be open by opening day. What is this, Cedar Fair? Now watch as everyone freaks out when their precious roller coaster finally opens later than expected. July. For like seven days. Then August. For like two weeks. Then finally September. For about a month. So next time you get mad at Six Flags for opening a super loop late, just imagine if they had built Lightning Rod. How long was Flying Turns closed? Seven years? Oh, we can top that. It'd be closed for so long they could have named it Son of Beast. But since Dollywood didn't say a word about it all year and just pretended like the ride didn't even exist, stand outside the entrance in hopes that it opened. But even if they had, they're only running one train. Yeah, those lines must have been nuts. Good luck convincing me to wait in that. Two, three, five hours? Doesn't matter how long the wait time is. For Lightning Rod, it's worth it! Yeah, just about the only thing at Dollywood worth waiting two hours for. That is so not true. Have you guys tried this stuff? I went back. This is so much better than Tempasta. I am sorry, Blue Gardens. Yeah, so I guess those five failed Dollywood visits weren't so bad. But with the ride randomly opening at really obscure times, imagine trying to be the first public riders. You would have either had to be really lucky or just do tons of planning. All right, nerds, listen up. As you know, today is March 18th, which means Dollywood opens for the 2016 season tomorrow. So we need a plan of action of how we're going to be the first ones in line for Lightning Rod. Dude, have you even been following construction? It's only completed, like, one test run. Well, yeah, I know, but trust me, they're going to make it. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. I don't see it being open tomorrow. Get out. Just go. Fine. I don't even see it being open till August. <gasps> Get out. Now, anyone else think it won't open tomorrow? Good. Now, my suggestion is that we arrive as early as possible. That way, we're the first ones in the line. So, how early are we going to get there? 3 a.m. No later. Yeah. 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 Let's do it! Now, hold on. What if we're not the first ones there? Don't worry. I'll bring pitchforks to fend off the crowd. Yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
I got a couple torches I could bring. My dad has a wood chipper. I have some blow darts. Oh, hey boys, don't see you there. My car broke down. Would one of you strong boys be willing to give me a jump start? Not now, we're busy. Yeah! yeah. Okay, let's say all that fails. What do we do if we have to wait in line? We're coaster enthusiasts. All we do is wait in line. Now I want 100% participation from all of you. This is something we all want. And only be as good as you make it. Now let's go out there and be the first ones in line! Sorry folks, ride's close. Boost out front should have told you. I don't even feel sorry for them. <laughs> oh, come on, that's hilarious. Watch as everyone praises Lightning Rod's layout in the YouTube comment sections, even though its layout is made of some pretty basic elements. Lightning Rod rocks because it's got everything. A good size drop, it's a long ride, and it's got tons of airtime. Okay, you just described the hurler, so I'm starting to question your credibility. Should have gotten a B&M. You know, normally I would say that you're nuts, but the longer this thing stays closed, the more I start to agree with that. Prepare to be relieved now that Dollywood finally has a decent ride at the front of the park, which means you no longer have to run out of breath hiking up to the back when you want to ride a decent roller coaster. Begin your lightning rod experience by entering the awesome plaza, which you can't help but love, even if it is themed to a gas station. Stare at all the goofy looking cars out front while you wait for it to open, and at last enter the queue, strangely resembling the set from Grease Live. And now that you've listened to all the Beach Boys you can handle, kick off your ride by rolling out of the station and accelerating up Maverick's lift hill, except only twice as tall, and pass under that odd ugly pointy thing at the top that manages to achieve absolutely nothing. It's supposed to keep the bees away. How on earth does that keep the bees away? Because according to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to get up there. So unless there's an exterminator hiding out in there, that's pointless. Why do we have to kill the bees? I mean, what did they ever do to you? All they were doing was minding their own business, making us honey, and now we're just going to kill them? Tear down lightning rod! Save the bees! Good gosh, woman. Detach from the really fast lift hill and go up and over the part of the ride themed to Dolly Parton. Fall into a steep drop and reach a maximum speed of 73 miles per hour, crushing the speed record by an amazing one mile an hour. Sorry, Goliath. Now that you're flying not even close to as fast as a hot rod, prepare to get thrown into one of the many crazy elements, an extreme wave turn, which is sure to throw you out of your seat. I'm gonna get thrown out of my seat? Not, not literally. Who would ride this if they're gonna get thrown out of their seat? It's a figure of speech. Why would they even build this if you're gonna get thrown out of your seat? Oh my gosh, lady, calm your pants, I wasn't serious. Next, soar into a rapid transition and bank low to the ground and prepare yourself for the highlight of the ride, the quadruple down element name for the four fantastic airtime hills all back to back. Even though there aren't four airtime hills back to back, there's actually six. Yeah, it'd be nice to know that the park we're giving hundreds of dollars to would know how to count. Travel down the mountain receiving more airtime than Phoenix and El Toro combined. Yeah, I said it. Really sending you flying out of your seat. Don't say anything. The amount of airtime I got was crazy! Girl, were you even tall enough to ride? And finally, as you make your way back to the front of the park, soar into the final element of the ride. Uh, half loop? Is that what they're calling it? Uh, come on, Dollywood. That is literally just a bank turn into a brake run. That's like calling all of these half loops. And at last, abruptly slam into the brakes in an incredibly smooth ride for everyone not in the back seat. So think twice about whether that extra airtime is worth it, because I guess rough RMCs are a thing now. Must not have been a big deal though, since it managed to win the golden ticket after only being open for seven days. You hear that wildfire? Even after being open all summer, you still couldn't get it, you Swedes. But don't be so sad. Look, I get you're sad that you lost and everything, but you didn't have to close down the ride. Removing wildfire would absolutely suck, but I'm sure some parks over here wouldn't mind getting it. Right, we'll send it to Dollywood and then they can have two RMCs. Just kidding. The last thing Tennessee needs is another wildfire. Metal Stick. It's supposedly the world's greatest roller coaster. And yet the new kiddie coaster is getting more advertising in it. Ride it whenever the heck it opens at Dollywood.